Hi, this is Dr. Michael Ryan with Missouri Vein Care. I have a little alternate um, talk today, which is uh, kind of a um, important um, public service announcement in terms of your mental health, which also affects your physical health, which is the practice of, of experiencing gratitude in your life, being grateful for what you have. And the importance of, of gratitude is that it does calm your, your spirit, it, it settles your, your mind, it uh, eliminates some of the most uh, negative, cycling negative emotions like envy or resentment or anger. Uh, it, it eliminates those and you're left with positive emotion. And positive emotion is very well studied and is associated with much better outcomes, not only in mental health, but for longevity, for health, health diagnoses, heart attacks, uh, stroke, uh, lifespan. So people that are chronically angry don't live as long as people that are, are chronically happy. So how do, you, how do you affect that if you are being pelted right and left with different problems? Well, this, this, the basis for having a, a moment or moments throughout your day where you practice gratitude is that the way the brain works is when you're talking to someone, you're, you're, you're listening to what they say, and then when you talk, you're actually listening to what you say. When you're listening to what you say, you can't really hear what they're saying. You can maybe hear a word or two, but you cannot listen to their whole train of thought because there is only one pathway in your brain. And that pathway uh, is where all, all the emotions of your world, your inner world, are experienced. And they're emotions that are generated in a dialogue with yourself. So if you have a dialogue with yourself, you can only have one conversation. You can't have multiple conversations. So you have the ability to uh, kind of get a monopoly on what you're thinking and what your emotional state is because of that. So if you have a a moment where you actually experience gratitude for something in your life, something five years ago, ten years ago, this morning, uh, and it, it could be a repetition. It could be a list of, of things that you have found very, very uh, satisfying and, and a source of, of uh, s centered calmness. Bring those up and say, I'm, I want to be grateful for, for this, and I, or whatever the, the memory is or the, the gift that you've been given. While you're experiencing that, it is truly impossible to experience at the same time envy, resentment, anger, rage. If you're actually having gratitude, it, it's not possible. And so that is a very healthy act to, to, to do. And um, for me, I, I will see some, some condition, I'll hear something on the news, I'll, and I'll pause and I'll say, uh, just this moment, I want to be grateful for what I have today, because you know, don't know what the future holds. So it's a good, a good act uh, of uh, gratitude practice. Uh, it's it's good to practice um, gratitude appreciation on a regular basis throughout the day, not just once a day, not just once a week, but it is very healthy for you. And also, kind of in line with that, is another simple rule that people can follow. If you tend to get mad at, at people or upset or something breaks and you're mad and or someone does something and you're getting really worked up, that is associated with this, this angry state that in a repeated manner, if you're constantly experiencing that, is associated with, that, with worse uh, health outcomes, so a shorter lifespan, more heart attacks, for example. One of the rules that you can adopt, and it is liberating, is to consider that you only, when, when will you get mad? And uh, it could be uh, when your kids are harmed or uh, threatened with harm. It could be when you feel like you are being harmed, when you feel like someone is uh, being duplicitous or devious with you, lying to you. You can have your own list, and if if what has just happened to you isn't on the list, then you don't don't get mad. If your tire goes flat, it's not a reason to get mad. If 
uh, the the plumber gets the wrong part and has to come back three days later and you don't have water in your house. There was no intention to harm you, uh, no reason to get mad. Of course, it's a reason to get frustrated, but those are attitudes that you can have that will eliminate that, that incredibly negative cycle that in our modern life is just everywhere. It's all the time. So it gives you control over your inner, inner space and also uh, a pathway to having that healthy mindset for your mental health and also physical health. So Michael Ryan, uh, Dr. Michael Ryan discussing uh, how to practice gratitude and positive mental health.